It is one of the longest ongoing debates in Israeli society, should Israel toughen conditions for Palestinian prisoners. And it has surfaced once again following a suggestion by Public Defense Minister Gilad Erdan to cancel some of the privileges for security prisoners. The suggestion is widely opposed by the majority of the security establishment and also by those who dealt with those prisoners in the past. They think the real problem will not be solved by taking away a few hours of television or even family visits. The suggestion is usually to show the people that are working against the terrorists, but not to reduce the amount of radicalization in prison. The, the, the effectiveness of those uh, suggestions is useless in uh, most, of, uh, most of the time. There is great anger among Israelis regarding what is seen as a comfortable life for security prisoners in Israeli jails, certainly when compared with what Israeli prisoners held by Hamas had to deal with in the past, Israel is perhaps hoping that a tougher environment in jail may lead those prisoners to press Hamas leaders to soften some of their conditions in the negotiations to return the bodies of two Israeli soldiers held by Hamas since 2014. Would this really happen? Probably not. It's useless suggestion. It won't, won't be toughen. It won't make something. It won't make nothing. The prison service can handle it. If this is the case, then why bring up such an option? The unsurprising answer is politics. There's a lot of steam in the Israeli public. There's uh, frustration by the parents who have not heard from their children in years. And there's also frustration from those who want the bodies back of soldiers who uh, were killed in the previous war. So um, it's a way to release steam. It's a a way to show the politicians to show those people, I hear you. Politics on one side, security recommendations on the other. Just one more debate between those two in the complex Israeli reality. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.